Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of my configuring an advanced NSC4 test lab. Do you think it should be advanced or advanced? I don't know. Anyways, I don't really care at this point. All right, so video two, uh, what is our goal here? So in the next few videos, hopefully they're going to be nice and short. Uh, our goal is just to get these images imported into GNS3, all right, and then fire them up to test them and then once all the devices are in then we'll build our topology so let's go ahead and start with Windows Server so uh, for those that are not familiar with GNS3 a recent update that happened not that long ago in the great scheme of things actually put the appliances right into the GUI and I thought you know what that is so neat no more do you have to go out there to the market and try to find uh, a template for the device that you want to import in they actually have them already in GNS3 in the GUI themselves so right up here where it says all devices right you can just uh, hide and unhide that pane there by selecting this button here uh, if you only see a few devices, okay, you probably only have installed appliances selected. But if you come here to say installed and all available appliances, you should see everything that's compatible with GNS3. Uh, take a moment also to take a look at the different supported products because there is way more here than just Fortinet and Windows. So um, if you have another type of product in your uh, environment that you want to use, you know, go ahead and, and drop an image in there and go to town. Anyways, but here I want you to scroll down until you find the Windows Server, and that's going to be our first goal, is to get Windows Server in here. So I'm just going to drag and drop and or double click, and uh, it will go ahead and walk us through that process. We're going to hit next. You're always going to want to run it from the VM. All right, so because remember it's using that KVM hypervisor within that nested uh, Linux distro. Uh, if you guys are Linux champs, by the way, you can skip the whole um, VM. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video um, and run GNS3 directly off of a Linux box would probably be the most efficient way of doing it. But uh, that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now here it's scanning for images that it already has. And uh, I, I actually blew away completely my old GNS3 just so we could have a clean topology here with nothing in it or a clean um, application. And uh, I'm actually doing all these videos for my laptop too, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. But here we go. We have a couple of different flavors of... Hey, look at that. I actually found it. I don't even remember uploading that. It must just be in one of my downloads. Anyways, uh, you have a couple of different flavors here. Now, I've never used this image here, but uh, what it looks like it is, is some kind of like already made uh, Win 2K12. In other words, Windows Server 20, 2012 R2. Um, and that is the one that I downloaded ahead of time because I wasn't going to sit there and just wait for a 7.5 gigabyte file to download while recording. But what I want you guys to do is pick your poison here. And this import button will actually take you directly to... Oh, I lied. The download button will take you directly to the website to download this image. I'll just take a moment to pop up here. All right. Maybe... Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Oprah. Opera, sorry, Oprah. <laughs> Do not record videos at this late at night. All right, so here we go. So we have a we have a Windows Server 2012 R2, and the one that they suggest is the VHD file, I believe. I'm gonna double double check that real quickly. And how you do that is just kind of scroll this over and grow it out. You see how it says VHD here? All right. So um, in all reality, once you hit continue, it will make you fill this out. That's okay. All right. It's still free. You'll hit continue and then you'll be able to download the Windows Server 2012 R2 deployment. So uh, once you do that, it'll sit there for a while. All right. And then if it doesn't find it automatically, which it probably won't, you go to import next 
and you'll actually go to your downloads and I do have it somewhere here so um, at least I thought I did here we go oh, right there okay and then once you get a an okay ready to go all right we'll just take a moment here now now here's the thing it does take hashes of the files so the first time that you do do this it needs to upload it into that gns there it goes into that gns3 vm all right it does take a minute or two or ten so <laughs> um but once that is done it will go ahead and give you an okay ready to continue so i'm going to pause the video right here and let it upload and i'll be right back once we get a 100 percent all right guys all right once that gets done don't you love the magic of pausing that video? Anyways, once that gets done, you'll see if, uh, if the file downloaded correctly and everything matched up all right, you'll get this ready to install. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit next. Would you like to do this? Yes. All right. Uh, next, next, finished. And guess what, guys? We now have a drag and drop Windows Server 2012 R2. Now, in theory, uh, the one that I actually used beforehand, guys, was a, a cloud deployment of uh, Windows Server 2012. And um, it was more made for OpenStack. So I had to kind of rig it up to make it work with GNS3. So I actually have not fired this thing up. But in theory, we should just be able to drag and drop and essentially clone and deploy this thing just like it was, uh, um, you know, using something like like OpenStack. So uh, let's go ahead and try it out. And if everything works, we'll just move on to the next machine. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. All right. As you can see, we got a green little light here. I'll double click and oh, something is happening there. Now, obviously, my attention here isn't just to, to have you guys um, sit here and watch loading screens, all right? But once you get the OK to install, you should just be able to drag and drop here um, all the machines that you like. I do suggest a couple of things, though. When you're bringing machines on, especially for the first time, all right, do them one at a time. And also try to keep your eye out for your utilization. So just realize that once the machine's up and booted, it will kind of level out the, the system resources. And a lot of this test lab is also going to be dependent on um, what kind of hardware you're running the GNS server on. So uh, just as an example here, I have my laptop. That's what I'm using it. But this laptop has 32 gigs of RAM, and it's, uh, it's one of the older i7s, but it still has, you know, four physical cores and eight logical if you put in hyper threading and all that good stuff so I've dedicated quite a bit of it to uh, GNS3 so as you can see it says getting devices ready all right all right not too bad feels like I should be doing some like some sports commentary and it's ready okay I'm not I'm not funny at all so this is the part that you be thankful that you can just fast forward right guys so um, in fact I think I'm going to pause the video just so you don't have to sit here and watch it kinda oh wait is that all I had to do was threaten to pause the video it rebooted itself okay so maybe it needed to do that <laughs> we'll see here um, and a lot of these these VM machines that we're putting into GNS3, guys, just remember that the, the trial for a lot of them will begin once you turn them on. All right. And so um, I know that these guest machines can be armed a few times uh, before they, they stop working for good. Here we go. Hey, look at that. Not too bad. All right. Let's take a look here oh look at that how cool is that guys all right let's open her up
Okay, there you go. Windows Server 2012 R2 rock and roll. So uh, maybe in a later video, I'll show you guys maybe some, some tweaks to get these things running all right. I'll probably save that though when we actually get to the um, implementation part of putting all the topology together. Like I said, all I really wanted to do at this stage is to get the machines into GNS3 and get them essentially tested. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and power this bad boy down and then stop the video and start the next one. Also guys, get into the habit of actually powering down your, your virtual machines um, like you would a real machine. So I see a lot of problems with people hitting the stop button or maybe closing out their, their GNS3 VM that's running in the background. Uh, you're going to cause a lot of problems, especially if you start doing um, things with, you know, Active Directory and also your 40 analyzer that, that's heavy on uh, SQL databasing and things like that. So, all right, guys, next video, we'll move along and we will do Windows Host Machine next. See you then.